not only a dominant force at ball ups and throw-ins, his ability to cover the ground was unprecedented for a man of his size. In many ways, he was the prototype of the modern-day Ruckman, a player 25 years ahead of his time. Will be the club's eminent Hall of Fame big man. Nice pick up by Manassa. Manassa runs into lots of trouble, can't break away. Well done. Atkinson, great tackle again. Down it goes towards Kink. Cleverly across to Manassa. A great hand pass to Thompson. And Thompson through. That's a pretty good bounce. Or Saru up high, but Thompson wins out through sheer judgment. Wayne Richardson caught by Colling. No play on the call. There's Carmen. He's been in the thick of things. Thompson out wide. Pedro. It's a goal. Scott against Thompson. Thompson gets it clear, looking for Perry. Perry, the big fellow on his reserve, done beautifully over to Wearmouth. Could this be goal number 22? Wearmouth lines it up. I think he might be offline. No, he's not. He's in the centre. Thompson and Teasdale. Thompson to Wearmouth. Over the head of Barham. Now Rene Kink. Great handball over to Barham. A chance for Ricky Barham to score from half forward. Great kick. Here. Free to Wearmouth. Ron Wearmouth, nicely helped by his teammates, comes out of defence into attack to Rene Kink. He must take the free kick, if not the mark, because Smets was going back the other way without his eye on the ball. And we're very pleased with Rene Kink's performance today. Been a very good full forward in contrast to Peter Welsh at the other end of the ground. Ross Abbey over the ball. Out to Bond, to Thompson, to Magro, to Carmen. Baker again. Collingwood's margin is 14 points. And Baker's no, knows all about it. Look at those. He hasn't put in a bad kick yet. Thompson again. Thompson marked well when the ball was uh, dry in the first uh, quarter in the first 10 minutes. This is Barham. Oh, and Al's ran him down. Barham's kicked to the goal square. Kink off his hands. Through. Long kick by Thompson. Dunn's there and Carmen. Kekovic over the top. Max Richardson. Goal. That is one hell of a goal. Look at him. Della Thompson won the ball beautifully for Collingham. We're out to kick for goal. No, done this time. So easy. And upfield, Thompson. Now Manassa. Half forward, Carmen with South. Quick to get boot to ball. Off hands now. Thompson, good play by Thompson. Robert Hyde into the centre, beyond centre. Magro, Wearmouth. Magro, like a little ferret getting out of the ball. Thompson having a rest in the forward pocket. Campbell, Thompson, across to Anderson. And this will be his second goal. Well done. Hawthorne. Thompson and Scott Thompson winning again. He's done well in the ruck today. Tuck in front. Oh, going down with Polkinghorne. Went down like a poax bear. Magro kicks Collingwood forward. Twiggy done. He'll take all the time in the world as we get very near to the time on period. 24 minutes gone. Max Richardson. He's got a panic to move in. You can see he's the only player on screen at the moment. Races in towards goal. Kicks towards the big sticks. And put down your glasses. For the final now with the win over the Magpies. They're not going to have it easy. Thompson and Scott doing battle in the ruck. Scott from behind taps it down. Free kick though is going to the Collingwood Brownlow medalist. And Len Thompson, who's had a bundle of free kicks today, and Marks, has had the best of Don Scott in their ruck duels. And he kicks the uh, Collingwood team into attack. Here's a chance for uh, Kink up towards full forward. And a free kick to Moore. That's Collingwood's Peter Moore. He will answer that goal for the Magpies because he's only about 15 metres out and almost directly in front. In the back was played against Calvin Moore, the full back for Hawthorne, to Peter Moore, the full forward for Collingwood. Umpire Bill Della giving this decision. Some people call them a courageous decision when the, the score is so close in a game of such magnitude. And also the kick being taken so close to goal. But if the free kick is there, a good umpire pays it, and Bill Della is a good umpire. Peter Moore coming in. Calvin Moore praying that he misses. Kick on its way, the umpire moves across to Windicate, all clear. 
Another goal kicked by Peter Moore. And that's his third for the afternoon. They did get to the front by a point in this uh, quarter, but Thompson wins, uh, wins a tap out. Tuck takes it. Chance for Gordon to drive forward. He does with a big kick down to Moore. Moore opposed. Indeed, Hawthorne one point in front at half time and five points down at three quarter time. We're into the final term. Shaw picking up the ball with Thompson's free kick. There's Thompson putting the ball on its way. A high kick. Carmen won't get to it. Ten to four in the afternoon. Uh, we don't know. Ten to five even. Bounce down again. Thompson again winning the tap out goes to Shaw. Shaw fits Collingwood once more into attack. Here's Carmen again. Side. 13 minutes gone the final term. The second semi-final between Collingwood and Hawthorne at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Thompson again winning in ruck. Taps it down. Richardson across the centre. Ablett breaks away. Quite a speedy winger. Kicks Hawthorne into attack. No mark. Hawthorne forwards. None plus down there. Hyde kicking Collingwood once more out of attack. Don Scott and Thompson. But Thompson first to the ball. Gets caught with it but no free kick. Gets it over to Wearmouth. Stewie Trott can't tackle him quickly enough. Game. Yes, if Collingwood pick up the next goal, it will be a very hard score for Hawthorne to catch. But now the whistle sounds. Collingwood are about to go forward. Martello giving Thompson the free kick. And Thompson should use all his strength and kicking ability to drive deep. That he does. The ball drops a bit in toward the half-back zone for Hawthorne. Picked up by Wayne Richardson. His kick travels long into the forward pocket. Moore going after it. And Peter Moore takes the mark. Poor Collingwood, but the angle is very, very acute. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for a short pass here because it's a very tight shot. Even though he has been on target, he has kicked three goals out of the Collingwood total of 15 goals, nine. This one could be beyond him. I won't make any rash statements. Peter Moore. Goal. Oh, that's the goal that wins the game. Right. Scott and Thompson to renew their acquaintances in the ruck. Kick forward by Wayne Richardson to centre half forward. Takes the mark. For Hawthorne, Thompson and Scott Thompson winning again. He's done well in the ruck today. Tuck in front. Oh, going down with Polkinghorne. Went down like a poleaxe bear. Magro kicks Collingwood forward. Twiggy done. He'll take all the time in the world as we get very near to the time on period. 24 minutes gone. Max Richardson. He's got a panic to move in. You can see he's the only player on screen at the moment. Races in towards goal, kicks towards the big sticks, and put down your glasses. Up then by Collingwood, That's, uh, typify, that typifies their play all day. Ireland getting it over to Thompson, was it? Stewie yes. Trott punches the ball.